So in this video, I want to talk about the different layers of the epidermis. And so, just so you know, I'm only going to talk about three of the layers. I'm not going to talk about all of the layers. So the three most important ones are going to get covered today. And so to begin with, we're going to start with the bottom most layer. So the layer that's closest to the dermis, which is the stratum bacillae. So over here, you can see the red cells, essentially that layer. So it's the deepest layer that is resting on the basement membrane. And so it's a single layer of cells and keratinocytes resting on the basement membrane, but also in this layer, there are some melanocytes and tactile cells mixed among the stem cells and keratinocytes. And so the most important cell in this layer are the stem cells. So the stem cells of the stratum bacillae, they divide and then they give rise to keratinocytes. And the keratinocytes move towards the skin surface to replace the epidermal cells. And so we're going to talk about the stratum spinosum in a little bit, but essentially that's where the most of the keratinocytes are. And so these cells divide to replace the lost epidermal cells, the stem cells, I mean. And the stem cells are constantly dividing and making new keratinocytes, which is why your skin is constantly, it essentially is always regenerating itself and creating a new layer. So now let's talk about the layer that's above the stratum bacillae, which is the stratum spinosum. So this layer, this thick layer right there. And so it's really important to remember that for the stratum spinosum, the deepest cells can still undergo mitosis, while essentially the further up you get, the cells will not be capable of undergoing mitosis. And so the deepest cells can undergo mitosis. Um, dendritic cells are also found in this layer. But what's most important is that this layer consists of several layers of keratinocytes and is the thickest layer in most skin. So thickest layer of the epidermis, I mean. In addition, the keratinocytes are attached to each other by desmosomes. And so as I said before, as cells move up towards the surface, they lose the ability to divide. But the thing is, as the cells move up, the keratin fibers cause the cells to flatten. And so as the keratinocytes move up, they will flatten even more. And so constant stress is always being put on the keratinocytes. In addition, it's important to remember that the keratinocytes are firmly attached to each other by desmosomes, which essentially just help create a strong bond between the keratinocytes. Also, tight junctions help seal off the keratinocytes to make sure that nothing passes between the cells. But the desmosomes are the more important part. They help hold the skin together and toughens up the epidermis due to the fact that they hold the keratinocytes so closely together. And so finally, we're going to talk about the uppermost layer, so the layer that everyone sees, which is the stratum corneum. And so this layer has dead, scaly, keratinized cells that form a durable surface layer, so it's up here. And it can consist of 30 layers of cells. And so this layer is resistant to abrasion, penetration, and water loss. So it essentially just helps protect you. And these surface cells can flake off, which is also known as exfoliation. And so that pretty much sums it up for the layers of the epidermis. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends.